Well, good afternoon. How's it going, everyone? Okay. Uh, something a bit different. We're at the um, Euro Tunnel departure, just about to set off. It's all a little bit confusing where to go, but hopefully we we can get on. So, next bit of video will be hopefully driving on if we attach the camera right. So, see you in a bit, and then into France. So, hope oh, you enjoy it in the van in Kirk. Have a cracking time a week in France. See you in a moment. So, current update. We're still not there yet, so yeah, a bit of delay, a bit of hassle, but we'll get there eventually, won't we? Yes. We will do, yeah. finally arrived I do walk around tomorrow so a bit tired now so we're having takeaway because the restaurant was about to shut so takeaway beers and a pizza is it good yeah cheers <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see you in the morning morning <clears throat> just show you around a bit I'll do it silently because uh, just on my phone and uh, plenty of people about if you know what I mean so just a little bit of a little bit of a walk around a little bit so Chateau du Gansbet in Normandy the restaurant reception the old French Chateau I guess well yeah you get ice creams dinner all the rest of it Last night we just missed. We got it 20 past eight, so hence the pizza. You see, swimming pool. Cool, eh? Just walking back to our little section now. shopping some meats nice sandwiches for lunch and things like that and uh, I'm gonna top up with some diesel it's actually cheaper over here it's about one 
70 works out to. So we're off to a place called uh, Block Block House Epilex, because the town we're in is, is called Epilex. If I'm pronouncing that right, I'm sure someone will correct me. So Block House is where, well, the Germans, World War II, bombed London with all V1, V2 rockets. And uh, apparently it's quite an interesting place to go and visit. So let's go and see what it's all about. Just at the just at the blockhouse now as you pull him. So it's gonna be one of them sort of unusual places if you know what I mean. It's a big gun in it. Checkpoint Charlie, isn't it? Big guns, vehicles that the Germans used. Kirk. Sentry box, eh? Just concrete on this for bombardment. called a German pocket U-boat. Sub. Yeah. Pocket submarine. Pocket submarine. Christ, imagine being in that. Wow. So this is the block house. Wow, it's massive. So this is where the, the missiles V1 and V2 bombs were fired. Bigger than what I thought. This picture of uh, what the size of a, a V2 size of it. So that's like human size there. Look at the size of that. So these were apparently supersonic. So there's no way of knowing if they're on the way. They just if they go at a speed of sound, I should say. And when they hit, that was it hit London so this is the damage we caused good so basically it was a bomb factory you see there where they made the concrete to build it all This is an actual V2 bomb. Wow. Look at the size of that. That's a tall boy bomb. One of ours, designed by Barnes Wallace. Bouncing bomb. Another one of ours, the Disney bomb. This is where they were fired from.
Les Allemands décidèrent d'évacuer les trois groupes. Give us a view of the place from a different angle. So that looks like an anti aircraft. That's the V2. And that's a V1 on its launching pad. An air, a place called, I mean, the sunny, Honfleur. Um, and it's busy. I mean, really busy. We were, at the entrance came in there, it says complay, which means full. Saw a space there and just grabbed it. It's chock a block, it really is. So, just gonna chill out a bit. We don't need electric because we've got the fridge and everything. And uh, there's water over there, so might use a solar shower if I. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. It's it different, up. but you've got that view. Yeah. Lovely view. Home float. Really, really nice. We're gonna get changed in a bit and then have a walk, go for a nice meal. So yeah, Yvonne's just getting ready. Then we're going to go out for a meal. So yeah, must admit, without a shower out like that, a bit sweaty. Stunning morning it is. I need a shave. <laughs> uh, Yvonne's still in a pit on the sleep. So it's about eight o'clock. So there's a few people about. So uh, I'll just put the drone up. I'll show you some pictures.
just sat relaxing now. Arrived at um, a place called La Hayes de Puy. It's not far from Cherbourg. A really nice site. Uh, they've got a buffet on sort of like a lamb and sausages and stuff. And he had to book it on the Monday before. And I was just saying he, he's not got enough food anyway for the people. And uh, But yeah, today's Wednesday, so we've got no chance. So I'm going to have a walk down into the local town and uh, find a restaurant, I think. We were going to buy food today at the supermarché, but just got water and, well, we forgot. So I'm not having an emergency rashes out of the van. So we're in France, go and have some food, definitely. Well, good morning. So yeah, we're at the campsite. We had a nice meal last night, didn't we? Lovely. And, really uh, nice, yeah. Sat underneath the, the awning, having a bit of brekkie, and uh, we're just chill out for the day. What are you doing, Yvonne? Do a bit of sunbathing. Bit of sunbathing. Mm -hmm. We're just getting some supplies, aren't we, Yvonne? Yes, we are. From the supermarché, and uh, probably walking in the worst time of day, midday. It's a bit hot in it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I'll show you a bit of the town. Give a quick bite there. Just in the local town there. Is that some bakery? Produce. It's going to get some nice steak from the butcher. Massive, massive piece of steak for Stephen. <laughs> Got ingredients for a ratatouille, a bottle of red, bottle of white yeah. wine, and a tub of anchovies to mix in with the ratatouille. For tonight's tea. Feast. Feast. <laughs> what in Normandy? What are we drinking? Drink cherry cider. Tea, look at that prime rib, ratatouille, a little extras, little anchovies, mussels. So, Yvonne's having like kind of a vegetarian mussels bit, seafood. Now, I'm having a steak on the side and uh, got some new potatoes. Food's on the go. Cheers. So, citronella, candlelit dinner with the. Uh, <laughs> Prime rib, ratatouille with anchovies and mussels and potatoes and all sorts. And anchovies. Some red wine, some white wine. Now we're going to have some bread and the ratatouille. Pretty darn cool. This is one of our local French neighbours. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. You say that? Fre French Irish is. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. See that? Got your sticks. Like your rock and roll. Seamus, it was bonjour, a pleasure bonjour. meeting you. <laughs> you don't get a fish every time, but. No. Uh, you see, once you get over that ocean, that's what you've got to get. So we caught a fish. Let's have a look at the fish. We got one. There he is. Hey! Get him back in the water. Look at the tip end. Let's unhook it now. Nice and carefully. People are packing down there. A couple with a caravan from Sheffield. And that camp, caravan over there. There's a guy who's been coming here for about 14, 15 years. 86, and his wife's 80. And uh, shows how to do fishing. The VW at the end, an Irish family. And then the motor there, 
the other father-in-laws in the motorhome over the way just see the top of it but again cracking family and I think next time I'm going to get a pitch over there where you get all your shower and everything down from this side now and uh, really enjoyed it but it's hot again today hence why I've got no top on so yeah um, so on our way up country see you in a bit so we've arrived at the next bit we're in a Jumier, still in Normandy. I think like a chateau hotel place this time, must admit. Slightly pushing the boat out with this one. But yeah, really nice. Well, looking mega chuff with this. Little treat, just a one night. So, what do you think then? It'll do. It'll do. It'll do, yeah. So, yeah. Really good. Nice big room, very really ornate. Yeah. Stay. Yeah. Very really ornate. Oh. Jacuzzi bath. Mini bar, most importantly. So this is our last camping night. A place called St. Louis camping site. It's okay. Uh, yeah, quite nice, really. Fairly cheap, but it's near to Calais, so we're on the way home tomorrow. So I'll just show you where sort of the site is. All parked up. Little site. So it's been hot. All the grass is all got that to use an adapter plug here. And the electric kept going on and off a little bit, but uh, yeah, pretty good. Bond's just inside the van having a ablution. I uh, always put the blinds up. And yeah, that's us ready, takes minutes. So I'm gonna see what the bar and the food's like, but I'm not really holding out that much if I'm honest. We'll see. So we're boarding the Euro Tunnel coming back home. And I must say, Unlike the British side coming, which was a nightmare, the French have got it sussed. This is so easy. Very, very easy, polite, wave to you. They're probably going, goodbye, you have to get yeah, back across yeah, your little bloody there. island. No. Um, so, <laughs> anyway, I'd like to say this opportunity to I hope you like this little video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell icon for any future notifications. Um, have you enjoyed it, Yvonne? I've really enjoyed it, yes. yes, yes. Thank you very much. And uh, we've had a good time. Picked up a bit of a tan, I hope. See you on the next time. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.